how to create KDP notebooks in Affinity Publisher. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator Beat and welcome to my channel where I show you how to make KDP low content books and Etsy printables with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today I'm actually going to show you how to use Affinity Publisher to create notebooks that you can be selling on KDP uh, platform as KDP low content books or you can be creating different printables. Now I'm going to actually do a series of books showing you how to do different types of books using Affinity Publisher and Affinity Design. Why? Because these are professional tools. Not only that, you can actually purchase these tools for half price at the moment. Every now and then they keep having these half price sales so £23.99, it might be the same in dollars or wherever you are. And as you can see, you can get them both for Mac and for Windows. And I do know you can also get uh, Affinity Designer for iPad as well. So you can cre actually create a whole book in Designer and then transfer it to Canva or to Keynotes or to PowerPoint and create your book or compile your book in there. But if you have Publisher, you can create a full book using just the publisher tools and then you can also edit if you've got Affinity Designer and Affinity Photograph all the different files in there. So today I'm just showing you the actual basics of actually creating a notebook. I'm not doing the cover, I'll do that in another video, but the basics of actually creating a very quick book on, well a notebook in Affinity. So we're going to go straight ahead and start working on it. So this is Affinity Publisher. As you can see, I've also got Affinity Designer and uh, Affinity Photo. So it gives me Designer Persona and Photo Persona. In later on videos, I'll actually show you what you can do with those. But let's start with a new one. So I'm going to go File and New. I'm going to actually set up our documents. So I'm going to create a six by nine document 300 make sure that inches is selected sometimes it defaults back to um, millimeters i'm also going to choose portrait rather than landscape i'm going to prefer linked and the reason why that is is so that your images don't embed themselves and don't actually create a huge file i've also decided on the pages that i'm going to use is 120. i'm also going to default to master and i'm actually going to create a master in here because it's a lot quicker to actually create a master and then it everything that you want on that particular master will appear on all the pages i also want in facing pages arrange horizontally and I'm going to start on the round hand side because when you're doing notebooks in say KDP it always starts on the right hand side here so that's the reason why color format I can choose CMYK if I was going to be publishing in color that's definitely what I would do and CMYK is for print RGB is for screen but you can also choose different grays if that's what you're going to be using I'm going to stick with CMYK because I am just going to use grays anyway and then here I can select to include my margins now, because I'm doing a notebook, I'm actually only going to do quite a small inner margin of 0.375 because it is only a notebook and you don't need that bigger margin there for it to actually go through. Now, if I was doing a journal or a planner, I would probably do it a lot bigger and I'd probably do, say, 0.75 or maybe 0.5. So I would decide on that. And I can also set my bleed here as well. So the bleed is 0.125 all the way around and making sure that that is unclicked. So if I click that to uniform, it wouldn't work. So I'll just click and click there. So I'm going to click create and then as you can see these are our pages it's already populated the pages to 120 but their main work is going to be on the master here so if i click on the master and double click now i can see a full spread now i actually want to see the margins and if they're not there all i need to do is type 
press Control w and my margins and everything appear i can take them off i can put them on the easiest and simplest way of actually creating lines for ours is to actually use a table so here is the table tool i just simply click on it and i can draw out now i only want one column so as you can see where it says c and r it's actually giving me two columns now so if i go back to one try and go as far as i can and then if i just drag out here i have actually got a table now this table the lines are too narrow so what i can do is i can highlight up to say 21 i've counted some notebooks out and some are between 21 and 23 lines so i'm going to actually go up to 21 right click on there and do delete rows and now from there i'm just going to drag out and fill in all into this margin here so i've actually now got all the margins that i want but i've got one big problem i've actually got outside borders so if i just click on here which is the selection tool there and i click Control w it takes everything away and what you can see is i've actually got a table i just want lines so if i go Control w i can put that back go back here and make sure i'm on the actual table and if this here doesn't appear it's because i've got that selected there so you just click on the selection tool there which is table and it also does formatting there as well so if i click there now i am on stroke and fill so so far it's got everything selecting on double clicking it and um, as you can see it's got all the borders and everything selected well i don't want all the outside border so i can just click here and i can click none and it's taken that away what i do want is the interior border so i click here make sure that that's on there and i can also change it down i can change the opacity down so it's more of a light gray color rather than black and again if i just click on move tool there and again if i just go Control w you can now see that i've actually got a lines just going straight across and if we look down here you'll see that i've also got lines going straight across there as well so the simplest way i can do this now for the next one if i put Control w black i can actually see where i want to go i can copy and paste so i can either do Control c and then Control v or i can just hold shift and option down or shift and alt if you're on a windows machine and then just drag it and it'll make a copy and it can be exactly where i want it to be placed now that is my basic notebook done nice and simple it's just using tables but on my first page i don't actually want lines on my first page so i can just double click on that right click here and i can clear master and that has got rid of the lines on my first page so when i want to put text i can just click on the text tool click there and then type this no and then what i can do is i can put text box up a bit or i can move it down don't want aerial um all right So you can change your font to whatever you want. Um, I'm use that one. And you can change your size. And you can also change your character. So if you click on character here, you can change your lettering, how far you want it to go. Let it out of it. Yeah. 
there and then I can just draw a line. So I click on pen tool, make sure the line tool there is selected and click and then hold my shift button down and just draw out and then click on my mouse and I can also change the thickness of the line there and I can also change the stroke color and again I can bring the other stick down so it's more of a gray and that is my notebook done so what I need to do now I can just export it so export and I can select PDF, making sure it's PDF for print, making sure it's 300 DPI. I haven't done any bleed. And the reason why I haven't done any bleed is because the lines are not going right across the page. Now, if the lines were going across the page or I'd put images on there, then I would have done bleed. I don't want all spreads. I want all pages because if I did all spread, it would do the spread as it looks. And I want individual pages. And then all I need to do is click export and it will do a pdf for me so i can save it notebook i just call it template save it should Done it for me. So I'm just going to open that PDF just to show what it looks like. And here we are with PDF. And if I just go into the side here, it'll tell me the size six by nine. No bleed in there. No need for bleed because it's not going through. That is my notebook. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the little B above my head to subscribe to the channel. I will be doing some more videos showing you how to actually create different types of journals and logbooks using Affinity Publisher. So look out for those. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to check out my Scissor Skills books using Affinity Designer. Also, don't forget to check out my video about using a free tool to create word search puzzles.